Oh, so we have a number of your messages also here, but won't take them. Wait. Uh, let's look at this quickly. Uh, front page of the newspapers. And uh, let's go see front page of um, this paper. Which one? Should be the Daily Graph. Still loading. Uh, we have two groups raise red flags over high taxes and levies. It talks about this public agitation against hikes in tariffs, levies, and taxes, which seem not to end as two groups on Tuesday raised red flags and threatened various protests if government did not review the current tax regime. Mm. You know that uh, Labour had demonstrated. Now, two more groups. So you have to get a copy of the Daily Graphic to know the groups they're talking about. Ghana's economic outlook positive according to the IMF. President present vehicles to four security agencies. We comprehensively um, brought to you that very story in our news this morning. Um, you go up, it says, two shot dead at Agogo. And for all the unpass between the head of the Ashanti Police Command uh, and also the MP for the area, uh, there's been reported shooting by a farmer, a Fulani farmer, or uh, a Fulani cattle. Um, Hetzman. Hetzman, and then also a local farmer. Uh, we also have AG Hot over Smarties deal. Um, pressure group occupied Ghana apparently has given the Attorney General one week ultimatum to provide information on the infamous 3.6 million Ghana City Bars rebranding transaction involving Smarties uh, Management and Production Limited, owned by actress Salasi Ibrahim. And you can trust the media. Uh, including Smarties management and production owned by us. But is it, isn't it true? Well, true. I'm not saying it's true. Everything is factual. Yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, next story, Mamavi, is about uh, how the uh, Italian Prime Minister visiting uh, is telling. Small mm, store away we go make. And, uh, and, so and, he's and, and, come uh, down. Uh, and then Small story. And he's telling her, Matteo Renzi is telling her <laughs> how to create jobs. Pres <laughs> the president, in one other report I cited on net, also said that uh, the EU should also help Africans create a lot more jobs. Mm. The point is, when they bring the money, do we create the jobs? <laughs> you know, I think that we do. So, so Mr. Prime Minister, I don't know if, you know, this bring message can come to you, but come and build, you know, the pasta companies here so that we can, you know, create the jobs. That's easier. Mm. Because, you know, we know our peculiar situation here in Africa. Even if you give us the money, the factories will not be built. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, so Boston, Pex up tour, 1 million barrels of crude oil delivered for processing. Not sure if I get it, uh, but it says a vessel carrying 1 million barrels of crude oil belonging to the bulk oil storage and transport company limited arrived at the Tema port on Saturday and will be processed by the Tema oil refinery under a tolling arrangement. Uh, you can find details of the story. I'm sure it will be, make a, a better understanding. Election 2016, police visits NPP and NDC. That story was in our AM News. Reveal Ghana's bad deal with EMI, NPP tells Italian Prime Minister. That's another angle to his visit. The opposition New Patriotic Party has called on the Italian Prime Minister, who is uh, on a two-day visit to Ghana. Uh, to prevail on ENI, a state-owned conglomerate, and the government of Ghana to review some terms of an oil deal between the entities in order to maximize mutual benefits. Also, uh, and we have to apologize because we don't even know the papers that are carrying these headlines. Uh, but another headline that you know we can talk about as captured by myjoyonline.com this morning, is four Yemenis enter Ghana with fake passports. Mm. Court orders police to ensure right. prompt prosecution. So apparently, an Accra Circuit Court has called on the police to ensure that the trial of four suspects from Yemen who allegedly entered Ghana with fake emergency entry visas and French passports proceeds in earnest. You know about the story? Mm -mm. I never heard about it. I didn't Are they either. following... Um, through with their nationals, they want to go and stay with them. Hey, Ghana. Ah, so they came to Ghana with fake passports, yeah. and I then we gave them to. emergency entry visas. No, they yeah, came, they came. They came with. They entered into Ghana with fake emergency entry visas. Ah. And okay, but it means that our people did a good job by. Uh, Find, finding them out. Mm. Let's prosecute them quickly. The and let's tighten security. Yeah, because why would anybody come to Ghana on... Wow. And Agam's, where they are coming from is mm, the suspicion. Agam's Holdings um, 
they break silence over loan repayment is just a press statement uh, so okay and then also we have two chinese arrested for manufacturing fake detergents but i have to go back and to this also, let me read a bit of this okay. agam's holdings the parent company of RL, rlg craft pro and asung taba uh, who were implicated in reports of investigations into the jida scandal uh, has broken its silence over the question of whether or not it has refunded monies it owes the government with interest and all these things come in uh, because Sam George on news file on Saturday did indicates uh, he stated categorically that RLG had paid all its debts owed the government. Uh, I wish I could tell you which paper is carrying this so we can all read details of that. Two Chinese arrested for manufacturing fake detergents. We have import duties, income drops, and uh, we're talking about government's revenue from import taxes has fallen short of expectation for the fourth consecutive year. I made a, a slowdown in import trade. I think that's good for us. Okay, we should re we should reduce the importation following the introduction of an avalanche of import duties that have been met with disgust by traders. They shouldn't bring in a lot more of the products from the other countries flooding our markets. I think we should impose a lot more taxes. If you ask me, no. But do you know what is happening, Roland? Are... Nope. Tell me. What is happening is the the new ECOWAS uh, taxes that we've increased some of the individual countries are cutting down so they are making it so for instance uh, if you import something from nigeria uh, you're supposed to pay depending on what you bring into ghana you pay a certain percentage of tax if it's a completely finished product that tax will be higher if it's half or if it's the machinery or the equipment, then it will be way lower. But in some of the countries itself, for instance, Nigeria would be ta taxing the same kind of importation, would be taxing a lower uh, percentage than Ghana. Do you get what I mean? Even though we're trying to do all these things to avoid people from um, uh, bringing into the country from unapproved routes and things like that and not paying taxes on it, other countries are making it easier in their own country. So in the long run, uh, what we are trying to avoid, we may not even be able to do it. So we have mm. to look at our own peculiar. Instead of say we want to do a cross board like a, an ECOWAS flat rate, I because other point. countries are defying that flat rate that you are introducing. Mm. I get you know? your point. I get your point. Uh, Techpe commits to improve macroeconomic data, and then also we have airlines recover from Ebola shock. Mm. Uh, it's down there, uh, and so those are the stories we. We have for the morning. Mm -hmm. We have to go to City FM online. All right. So quickly, uh, same uh, story here. Smartest deal. Corporate should have been jailed by now. Government to release extra two hundred Ghana, two hundred thousand Ghana cities to fight meningitis. Uh, November polls accusing EC of poor preparation is unfair, and we're not uh, a Nigerian firm. Kotoka Airport Security. Okay, so there's this whole issue about security at the Kotoka International Airport. I'm sure yesterday, I think we, we, we talked a little bit about it, but you can click and read the details of it quickly. Let's do our Zika. A, you know, it's a Nigerian firm that has gone. Uh, yesterday, they said a foreign firm. Oh, okay. I mean, I so now it's European, a Nigerian firm. I thought it was on um, a butcher. Uh, but it doesn't matter where they are coming from. I mean, once oh, they but are... Should, but if the Ghanaians are also competent, why mm. not? I mean, that, that's yesterday, after we read the headlines, yeah. I, I, I went mm. further to ask some few questions of some personnel I knew uh, at the airport. And they said, really, the security companies locally had the competence to do what they were doing. So, but what kind of security are they given? Is it general security of the airport? Charlie, so or what? We have to give the thing to Ghanaians. Ah. Okay. All right. Let's do our Zika because... Uh, Zika. Yeah. Uh, Benedict is on standby. Zika is really important. Mm, uh, Zika virus infection. Oh, let's read. It's always good we read those headlines. Zika <laughs> virus infection through sex. Oh, for many of you who don't know, sexual intercourse... As we've been Please reported. go up, don't mind him, in the U.S. <laughs> okay, over to you. Oh, it's okay. You read it. So a rare case of the Zika virus being transmitted through sex. Not a mosquito bite has been reported in the U.S. A patient infected in Dallas, Texas, is likely to have been infected by sexual contact. Uh, the Centers for Disease Control told the BBC uh, the person had not traveled to infected areas, but their partner had returned from Venezuela. So I think the mysterious thing mm. is we, 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 we don't really know what the virus is capable of doing still. 
uh, what has been is that every the day. virus stays in your blood for a week. Mm. So after a week or from after a week to two, when your blood is tested, you may not find the virus. But it's been reported that after those periods, there's still some level of incubation within mm. your semen or your secretion. That's how come if you're pregnant, you know, the unborn child may Oh, that's for that one when you're pregnant and you have it within that week. It stays within you. So that one, it will be transmitted to the okay. baby. So, I hope we don't have another Ebola. But we have a lot of mosquitoes hand. here. That's why I kept asking you. Don't we have that? But it doesn't... It I'm doesn't saying trans... that so you have some people... You know, December head is a big one. Yeah, yeah, but so, yeah. some people, you have their heads. January head, small. Uh, deformed. You know that this you one know, is Zika. The, but, it's around now, so... But as I was thinking about the Zika, this is what I said. So when it happened, like, somewhere in Uganda, they didn't pay attention to oh, us. that was 1947. They didn't do... So afterwards, they didn't do anything... You know, put resources into it. Let's look into the virus and the, uh, the things when, that the virus capable of doing. They feel threatened. Now that's they feel threatened. exactly. <laughs> now we're bringing all resources. Charlie, that's a hand. world order. That's yeah. a world order. Okay. As far as we live but with the disease, we yeah, mine. Oh, there's this well, there's this other fine. story about Tata uh, naming one of its uh, new vehicles. I think the name page is not opening, mm. but it's close to. I think Zika something. No, they have a, a car called Zika. The Zika model of their car. Yeah. And they just, uh, I think, launched it a week or some few days ago. Mm. So now they said they have to rebrand, rename the car. Yeah. And so that's what they intend to do. Okay. But their Zika is Z-I-C-A. But oh, but the Zika. pronunciation is the same. Zika. And mm. they don't want people to have be, to be having references to the, yeah. the virus. And they also empathize, you know, with those yes. who I have this a good, Zika virus. A, a, it's a way to turn a crisis period around for a company. Yeah. That's but would they be able to thing. use whatever new brand name that they have yes, to sell they can. the vehicle? They can. They can. Mm. All right. Uh, this message says, good morning to Mama V and Roland. I always believe that every long journey has an end. As mm. fellow Ghanaians, let's not be in a hurry by accusing our president left, right, and from all angles. He's working to the best of his ability. So let's appreciate his efforts. It's from Mohammed A. Rahman, who is in Gushegu, sending us that message. Uh, hold on for the president, he says. Okay, this one says, uh, is this the reason why our forefathers toil, shed their blood, and are independent for us everything is going up no jobs only few people are sharing the national cake uh it's from karim in gushigo so same place oh gushigo but two different views mm. <laughs> well we'll see how that goes and uh, we're taking a break when we come back benedict also dankwa is lurking around the studio somewhere okay benedict you're up ready so he will be here to give us a lot more sports mm. and we know that um his grand uncle is now the co which co coventry you saying <laughs> What I'm interested in is that Manchester United. Is this stock they played against? Because yes. they scored they three, man. Three. Yeah, and, and three. And when Rooney scored uh, his seventh goal in seven games. Okay. I think top of it, the icing on the cake is Leicester. Did they beat Liverpool? Benedict has got the details. I'm taking a break. We'll ride back with sports. Yeah.